Yeah, it's been really interesting to be back in the studio with Blue until June because it's a piece that I made so long ago, more than a decade. To, you know, to think about who I was at, at that point and where those ideas came from and, and where I've come to now and to also, also see the ways that I feel the same and the ways that I feel different. The piece is really about examining relationships and I was very, I was very fascinated in, to the extent that popular music influences our idea of what romantic love is supposed to be. And I think that's pretty significant. I think we actually get a lot of cues. If you listen to any, pretty much any pop song that deals with love, and most of them do, it's always this hyper, uh, hyper romantic, hyper um, symbiotic, hyper needy version of it. And I think that, I think that a lot of maybe kids grow up with that as the ideal of what they're actually uh, moving moving toward. Um, so I envision this idea of these just these people that had been like just getting so like caked on with all that excess and like just this mush down into the mud and just to become like these just like had become dead with the weight of all this fantasy and so they crawl up out of the mud and they're just like caked with with the baggage of their past and they kind of fight out with each other all their past <coughs> projections and romance and resentments and and you know, throughout the piece, try to shed themselves uh, of all that. And, and the piece actually originally was a commission to use Etta James music. Um, that came first. Washington Ballet, they were working on a jazz blues program and they asked me if I would be interested. And I thought, my God, of course. <laughs> I mean, what incredible music, what incredible, rich, rich, rich music. Um, it's, it's interesting though, I think, when I look at how, how I feel like at least that I've evolved vocabulary-wise as a choreographer over the past 11 or 12 years. You know, in some ways it's, a, it's a certainly a simpler vocabulary and to see the dancers of Trey McIntyre Project who are so versed in incredibly detailed and, and, and more difficult movement, to see these dancers really inhabit that older work and in some ways have a little bit, bit of breathing room to revisit an older work is really interesting to see. And you know, even in rehearsals today, I was just so surprised to see certain things that I'd always kind of longed for in the movement, they already f knew to get at and had figured out before I had to ask for it. But looking at it, I know that, I, I, know that I'll, I will make changes and, and just tweaks and there's just, there's just, you know, you can't unlearn something and I have more than a decade of, of, of education that's happened since this piece and so there's things that there's just puzzles I never figured out back then that I'll, I'll be able to, to do, do so more easily now. When I originally made the work for Washington Ballet, they were about to go on a, a tour to Cuba and they were going to be the first American company in Castro's Cuba and it was a big deal. And I choreographed half the work and the director came in and saw the, saw the piece and rehearsed and I thought, oh, this is great. We're going to put this on the roster for our, for our tour. I uh, thought, that's wonderful. And so, um, you know, as I, as I went further in the piece, there's a romantic duet that's between two men. And um, there's nothing ambiguous about it. It's definitely a romantic duet. And so, you know, w when he came in later and, and saw that, I thought, well, well, you have to change that. We can't, you know, we can't take that to Cuba. And, you know, for me as an artist, I thought, well, it's fine with me if you don't want to take it, but no, I'm not going to change change the piece and and we were we, we were in uh, you know a lot of heated conversations about whether or not that was the right thing to do of course from my perspective I think it's, you know a trip like that that has so much visibility and so much focus the right thing to do is to present um, what am I trying to say just work that has work that has content and a perspective I think that's the right thing to do and and um, I'm glad eventually that, that I won out and we took the, the piece to Cuba and I have to tell you um, uh, you know, the piece was televised, so, and, and dance is just so gigantic in, in Cuba. So many people saw the work, and, and, and every day uh, since the performance, people would come up to me in the street and said, we saw, the, we saw your piece, and just, you know, thank you so much for this perspective that we don't get to see, and um, there was no, there was none of the, um, I think, you know, what was kind of a prejudice about how the Cubans would react to the work. There was nothing like that. It was nothing more than you know a society that really values and embraces art, and embraces dance, being very happy to have um, a different perspective. And that was really a great. It was a great affirmation for me in terms of following my own path and and knowing that if I'm doing something for the right reason for myself, that that it's worthy of doing.